On the breakfast, the Christian Association of Nigeria disassociates itself from bishops who attend the unveiling of the vice presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Kashima Shatima. Also on the breakfast, stakeholders say poor funding of the educational sector responsible for the output. We'll look at the role of public figures in nation building and don't forget, as always, we'll be looking through the papers of uh, the front pages of the national dailies, analyzing the biggest stories. Welcome to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. I am Messi Boko. It's a beautiful Monday. I beg your pardon, not a Monday. It's a beautiful morning, by the way, and it feels really great to be back uh, on your screen. As always, we start the conversation with a top trending. And uh, top on the list is that the court rules in favor of Adeleke. Now, a, a court of appeal sitting in Nakura on Doe State uh, had affirmed that the Oshun State Governor, uh, that's a governor-elect, Ademola uh, Deleke, uh, the rightful People's Democratic Party governorship candidate in the just concluded election. Uh, the court affirms that Adeleke, as PDP governorship candidate, uh, dismissing all of the suits that was filed by a certain Dotu Babayemi. And that's it. But um, it's a good thing. And prior to this time, we also had uh, David O, who's a, nephew, who's a nephew, raising some concerns about. Uh, the return of certificate. Apparently, INEC actually issued that, uh, you know, certificate uh, that should be given at the end of the day. But what's as important is that it seems that this has become, uh, you know, a thing for for our election, for our democracy. Uh, the fact that the rate at which you have court cases increasing, especially uh, during an election period, so you, you have people going to the court, ap approaching the electoral tribunal for uh, all sorts and, and just uh, you know appealing cases. And some persons are saying that this is really not healthy, but is it really healthy? Because at the end of the day, the, the question of uh, the credibility of electoral process becomes a thing. It is only, uh, you know, normal and natural in a democratic system that the electorate are responsible for electing political office holders. And so if you become a governor tomorrow, it is the power. The power lies in the people, not the judiciary, on the other hand. But over time, we've seen, you know, that the judiciary, uh, it feels like we're resorting to the judicial arm of government to, um, you know, uh, uphold results or um, have people been elected into offices, however you want to put it. Not elected, but e eventually uh, people get into offices via, you know, the rulings of the court. And this is not very healthy for our democracy. But it, it would be important that we pay attention to the issues, uh, you know, that would make people approach the court. Prior to this time, we know that there are a lot of, um, uh, you know, election misappropriation or improprieties, if you want to say, uh, several issues, Tom printing, uh, ballot snatching and what have you. But with the electoral art, a lot of persons are very, very uh, hopeful that 2023 will be quite different, especially uh, where you have uh, electronic transmission of result that's done real time. It's a good thing that the people of Oshun State have decided it's a good thing, you know, that the, judicial, uh, the judiciary or the Court of Appeal uh, has gone ahead to uh, affirm the position of the governor-elect and the certificate has actually been issued as well. Uh, let's move away from that, but let's also not forget that all of this action constantly threatens our democracy. Now, and not on the list is uh, the fact that the clerics at Shatima's unveiling has generated a lot of reactions online and different, uh, you know, social media platforms and Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, that's what you see. If, if you're not on any of this platform then, uh, you probably wouldn't have seen it, but uh, that's what's going on. Yesterday, uh, the APC had said they were going to unveil uh, the vice presidential candidate for uh, the 2023 elections, of course, who will be running mate for the former governor of Lagos State, Bola Tunubu. And uh, that event actually took place. Now, one of the things that's caused people to react is because 
uh, eventually it becomes a Muslim Muslim ticket. That has not really, really been fantastic with a lot of persons, especially, uh, you know, Christians, but not necessarily cut across. A lot of people have expressed displeasure regarding the uh, Muslim Muslim ticket team. And then the, the comments yesterday is that you could see uh, some persons, pictures as you can see them on the screen, who oh, they say they were bishops or uh, men of God, however you could say, and so many reaction has trailed it because of how they look and, uh, uh, you know, the dressing. And some people have said that, some people have talked about, you know, their dressing. Some people have talked about uh, the fact that there was an eyewitness, there was a video that talked about someone changing from a particular religion. I mean, you know, just putting on the uh, the outfit and trying to act as a bishop. And most importantly, the, the, the another hashtag that has made the rounds is uh, hashtag staged. Uh, some people say that this has been staged. It's not true. Uh, but let's quickly look at this video. When we come back, we talk more before we move away. Well, so, um, well, it's quite unfortunate. I mean, how would, uh, if this is anything to go by, uh, there's been a lot of evidence that's been put out. First, you talk about the video where an eyewitness was recording. It's a time where we have smartphones on the move. And, you know, there was a video that surfaced on the internet where he showed uh, more like he was just a regular person who had to wear the outfit. And you also see those who say that they are bishops who are women. How many bishops do we have in Nigeria? The Khan has also put out a message, a message out there. And uh, in the course of this conversation, we'll definitely, you know, hear from the relevant quarters. But let's quickly take a look at this video. Speak to a journalist. No. Sir? No, no, no. Why, why not? Are you scared? No, what I'm saying is, are you scared of talking to Nigerians while you are here? Don't you have anything to say to, say to Nigerians? Can't you, do you, you don't have anything to say to Nigerians while you are here as religious, as Christians? Nothing. Sir, you, you two don't have anything to say, sir? We believe in peace and unity of Nigeria. Okay. And you believe in uh, Muslim, Muslim tickets, sir? Do you believe in that? I, I'm a journalist. I'm asking you a question. I deserve an answer. I'm also a journalist and I'm a Nigerian. So okay, so. By being here, you endorse the Muslim Muslim ticket, sir. Sir, so I'm asking you a question. So that you, can, Muslim, Muslim, uh, you no, broke my phone. Come on, let me ask you. Muslim Muslim ticket is not a car. Okay. That's we, good. We, Which church are you we from, We projected sir? Reverend Pam Yakubu. Yeah, 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 okay. We projected Reverend Pam Yakubu. Okay, but from the, the Northern Christian, sir. Yes. Okay. Who is our own choice. Okay. But the party decide what they want. Okay. So let press and every media report something that can unite Nigeria. Okay. Not bring disunity. Okay. Please, all right. we need all the press, journalists, blogger, free blogger, okay. to for God's sake, okay. report. Trouble. Yes. Yes. one person All right. Thank you very much. But what's your name, sir? I'm the church. Yes. It will, it will help. What's the name of the church, sir? So my name is Prince. Prince. I'm the President Muslim Christian Law Foundation. Okay. In Flatu State or sir? In Abuja. Abuja. Thank you, sir. See, let's let me talk. Okay, sir. This country. Yes, sir. We don't need to bring war. All right. If war breaks, it will consume everybody. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. God can bring a pagan. All right. God can bring a pastor. All right. God can use any body to fix Nigeria. Okay. God can bring any tribe. Okay. God can bring any religion okay. to fix Nigeria. Okay. It's not about religion. It's right. not about Muslim, Muslim. Thank it's not about you. Christian, Christian. Yes. We should not be a prey to this. Religious leaders. Thank you very much. They I have spoiled us for too long. Yes, How many pastors are religious that help in this country? Okay. Religious leader, religious leader. Yes, How many times they organize a peace summit, organize a reconciliation summit? Yes. We should stop preaching hatred. Okay. We should preach peace. If Nigeria scatter, everybody will suffer it. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey! See the people they put us for trouble to Nigeria. Now, 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 they put us for one last country. And now they share money, they do fake bishop. Mm -hmm. Fake, fake bishop, and now they share money. Do you know this? <laughs> fake bishop. Fake bishop. Fake bishop. Keep quiet, oh. you don't do a bag, oh. You don't do. <laughs>
<laughs> I don't know how we make our country progress. And I don't have an idea of progress. Thank me so <laughs> Well, like I mentioned earlier on, uh, there's been several reactions. I mean, yesterday, the uh, internet and social media spaces were on fire as regards uh, all that actually happened. But it's, it's, it's quite worrisome. And it just, you know, talks about, uh, you want to begin to wonder uh, why, why all of this, really. And, and you hear some of the statements from those who claim that they are Christians and they see were Christians, whether or not we like it. We know we have constantly decided to say, hey, uh, you know, let religion, religion should not. But we have constantly, our elections have been constantly influenced by, you know, religion. And you can't take that away. At a time where uh, a lot is happening in Nigeria, one would think that, uh, you know, would think differently and act differently. And some people say, hey, what cannot happen when people are in need? And some people would begin to quote poverty and lack of money and what have you, but that's what you, you, you have seen, and, and that's what it is. But um, we will follow the story to the later, and we'll speak with the relevant quarters to get the uh, position of uh, the Christian Association of Nigeria, that's CAN, uh, in that particular one. Well, another one is that the Central Bank of Nigeria says it would sanction Nigerians converting Naira to dollars, more like those who are involved in buying, uh, you know, the dollars with Naira. That's uh, a statement that was put up yesterday. So the central bank has threatened to arrest and prosecute Nigerians using Naira to buy the dollars. And uh, for those making money from banks to buy dollars, it's illegal to do so. If security agencies or agencies hold you, you will know the implication of that. Uh, that's what the CBN governor is quoted to say Godwin in Mifley. Uh, during the Monetary Policy Committee meeting that held in Lagos right here. Well, but let's also see uh, some of the concerns of the people. People have reacted differently. Nigerian using Naira to buy dollar would be arrested. It's illegal. That's what Godwin and Mifley is saying. And some people are saying that, you know, will the CBN rather punish the end user than to prosecute the black market agent? Banks cannot sell dollar, but black market agents offer loads of dollars in exchange daily. How? I think it's the same thing that happens, you know, uh, with, with the oil sector. You talk about fuel scarcity and the crisis. You find out that, you know, petrol might not be available at the, the various filling stations. But you have the black marketers with this product. How do they get it? It's, 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 it feels like they're you know, making a lot of progress. I mean, you, you know, prosperity, the uh, low summing. Uh, the, that, that question is the how. And uh, so on, some other concern would be that the CBN governor is, is even saying that, uh, you know, people should not buy dollars. Why should they not? I mean, these are reasons why people are engaging. People are saying that this, this is why we're engaging. Because even the banks actually lack the dollars to pay tuition fee. And some people have gone to mention several banks. These are the challenges. So what exactly, you know, is, is, is the situation? What is really going on? It feels like, you know, we're getting it. Uh, it's becoming horrible by today. Another one says, as long as government of Nigeria keeps retaining a mefili, they should not expect the Naira to improve against the dollar. Uh, the CBN governor, they say, is a total failure. He ought not to be there in the first place. And if you're looking at the 614 naira to a dollar, some people are saying, well, what's, what's going on? What's going on? So these are some of the issues that's been raised. I mean, how do we uh, solve all of the problem? Let's also not forget the uh, limitation that's been put out on the card. So you cannot. It's been reduced. Prior to this time, it was a bit higher. So right now, there's a limitation on your card, $20. Well, how much is $20 when you convert it? And what can you do with all of that? But that's the much we can take this morning on our top trending. We take a break. When we return, we'll be looking at the front pages of a national daily space with us.